A girl is shown with her mother at the beginning of the film while sitting in the Worth Academy's waiting room. The girl's name is Little Girls. Her mother was telling her that the judges would only ask her one question. Why do you want to join Worth Academy? You have to give only one answer that I have told you. After it, it was their turn. Little girl goes in front of judges. Judges were looking through her files and the girl was perplexed. They inquire as to what she aspires to be in the future. She responds to the question posed by her mother. It means she changed her mind about the question when she realized she had given the incorrect answer. She appears to be perplexed. She says sorry to her mother after coming out. Her mother says, now we will use plan B. They searched a house near Worth Academy. They shifted in it with their luggage. They see their next door house, and it was strange. The birds were sitting at their house flying from that house. Her mother threw water on them, and they flew. Little girl asks her mother, am I not able to go to Worth Academy? Her mother says, if you aren't, you will be till the summer ends. Meanwhile, a van comes and the mother shows little girl her life plan. Her mother opens a door and many things were mentioned there. Her mother tells her every minute of her life will be spent according to those charts. She can't do anything except for this. Her mother tells her 53 days left in your school. In these days, she will do preparation for admission. She will spend every hour minute according to chart. Meanwhile, her mother has to go somewhere, so she leaves. The little girl was alone. She goes inside the house and feels a smell. She goes to investigate the source of the odor. She discovers that the odor is coming from the house's backside wall. Meanwhile, there was a blast, and the plane's wings were shattered, moving in her house while hitting the wall. Her life plan was also destroyed because of it. Little girl tries to move inside, but the door was locked. An old man comes there. He moves inside the house while passing by the wall. He leaves after taking the plane's wings. He places the plants in the broken area. All of this was visible to little girl. The police arrived and everyone was watching as they came out of their homes. The police officer calls the old man and asks him, did he again try to start the plan? The old man says, yes, I have done this. He says, sorry for doing this. The police officer doesn't arrest the old man. The old man gives little girl a lot of coins in order for her to repair her house. It refers to repairing a shattered wall. Little girl's mother arrives home at night. Little girl tells her everything. Her mother says, we should file a case while calling in an insurance company. Little girl says, I have done all this. Huh. She says, I'll fix the house after I call the repairman. Everything will be fine because we will forget everything. Little girl arranges her room. She also makes her Worth Academy uniform ready and hangs it. After it, she starts studying. Meanwhile, she sees a paper plane from the window. It landed on her book which she opened to find a story written on it. It was the old man's story. She starts reading the story. Out was written or once a small prince lived at a place. His name was Little Prince. He was alone. Meanwhile, little girl hears a voice there. When she sees the old man was sitting while wearing a binocular, he says, little girl, you can be my friend. Little girl closes the window seeing it. She throws the page into the bin. In the morning, little girl and her mother get fresh. After it, her mother moves to her office. Little girl was working out according to her timetable. She does breakfast and then she starts studying. She stops studying at lunchtime. She starts counting the coins given by the old man. She finds some things from them, like pins and crystal balls. Besides this, a small plane and a small boy doll. The boy doll was a prince and little girl remembers the paper story that she has thrown into the bin. She picks it and starts reading. Further, the old man has written his story. That I was also alone and I have none to talk with. I started flying planes. I travel all over the world. 
but my plane was damaged in the desert. It landed there, and he sat there reminiscing. There wasn't anyone except for him. It means he was alone there. Suddenly, a boy comes and asks the old man to make a sheep. The old man gets shocked after seeing him there. The boy again asks him to make a sheep. The old man makes different kinds of sheep. The boy doesn't like them. In a rage, the old man constructs a box with three holes for him. The boy is fond of them, and the old man remarks, Look, they're sleeping. After it, the story page ends. What happened next piqued little girl's interest? She comes out and, after some thought, goes to the old man's house. She sees many things in the old man's garden. There were planes, cycles, and the tires of cycles. At that time, the old man was repairing his plane. Little girl goes near and calls him. The old man gets panicked hearing her voice. The parachute gets open mistakenly because of it. Little girl becomes happy seeing it. The parachute falls on the little girl and the old man. They start laughing. Little girl asks the old man about the story. What was the boy doing in the desert? Where were his parents? From where did he come? She sees many different things in old man's house that attract little girl. She likes them. The old man takes her upside and tells her about the little prince. He lived on a star and his job was to cut down the bad and dangerous trees. He will never make them grow. To protect the good trees, little prince likes the rose flower that was growing there. They spend their time together. The prince flew one day while leaving the rose alone. Little girl asks him why did he do this. The old man says he was doing all this for Rose. Meanwhile, the watch alarm of little girl rings. She runs towards the house and her mother arrive there. Her mother asks, did you study? On it, little girl tells her, I have made a new friend. When the mother checks the life plan, there was only half an hour for a friend. Little girl adjusts the pages of the story properly before sleeping. She starts reading it. She reads, the little prince travels to various stars. First, he travels to a star where once reigned a king. Sunset is requested by little prince and the king agrees. After it, going to another star, he meets a man. That man lives alone on that star. Moving forward, he meets another man. He sells the stars. Little prince buys stars from him. While reading the story, little girl appears to be sleeping. She again goes to the old man the next day. The old man was teaching her how to fly kites. Then we return to the little prince story. Prince has returned to earth. He meets a snake and it tells him about its power. Little girl was learning tree climbing. Suddenly she falls and gets injured. The elderly man applies medicine to her wounds. Little prince is shown and he made a fox his friend. Little girl was happy with the old man. They play the whole day, enjoy themselves, and also do the painting. That shines in the dark. They take pictures on the plane also. Little girl's room was filled with the shining stars when she sleeps at night. The little prince and the fox become best friends. Little girl shows her mother like she is doing all tasks according to the timetable. As her mother leaves, she moves to the old man. Little Prince is shown, and he sees many roses there. He becomes upset because he believes his rose is unique. He believes it is only one piece of the universe. Fox makes him understand your rose is different and special because it is your rose. The old man says everyone has to leave one day. Little girl asks him, are you leaving? The old man says, yes, I'm going to the little prince. The old man was taking little girl somewhere. The old man was unable to maintain control of the front car while driving. The police stop him. Little girl says to the police officer, today is my birthday. After it, the police officer calls her mother. Little girl and her mother reach home. Her mother scolds her a lot while saying, I want you to be settled in your life. Little girl says, you are seeing only your point of view. I do study and do my work all the time. You will see I will vanish one day. Her mother throws her everything and strictly makes her follow the timetable. Little girl was missing the old man. 
little prince was going somewhere with the old man. The knight appears on their way. The old man was taking the little prince in his lap. Little girl goes to the old man while packing her luggage. She asks him to fly the plane while sitting in it. The old man disagrees while saying the little prince moved forward alone. A little prince came to see me one day and the snake bit him. He disappears somewhere. Little girl asks him, are you confirmed that he went to his rose? He remembered everything and didn't forget anything. He didn't increase in size. Yes, the old man says, I believe it happens the same way. Little girl becomes enraged upon hearing it. She leaves while throwing his things to his face. She moves her house and cleans all the stars. She sees the old man in an ambulance when she was with her mother. She runs after it to go to the hospital, but none lets her meet the old man. Returning home, she sees she still has the little prince and the rose. She comes out through the window and starts the plane. Helene starts and she controls it hardly. She flies in the air. She sees a city devoid of children because children are not permitted there. She goes there, and the cops arrest her for violating the rules. This police was sent by the little prince. After it, little girl runs from there. She hides in a lift. She meets the king in the lift. He wasn't the king at the time, but was working on the lifts. Little girl feels strange seeing this. She then proceeds to the top floor of the building, where she meets the prince. His size had been increased. The little prince was cleaning at the time. Little girl understands that he has forgotten everything. Little girl tries to make him remind everything. He doesn't remember anything. Suddenly, he sees little girl and says you are so small in size. The small kids are not allowed here. Little girl tells him, I am small because I am a kid. Then Prince takes her somewhere. She was apprehended and her belongings were thrown away. They fall little girl into the size increasing machine like they have done with the prince. When little girl's size will increase, she will forget everything. Meanwhile, the prince hits with a dustbin and his drawings and the story comes out. The prince reminds everything. He sends the man who was sending the little girl inside into the machine. After it, little girl tells him everything. She says we can return to the star through the plane. Coming out, they save their plane from being crashed. Meanwhile, the man comes who sell the stars. He imprisoned all the stars. He also catches little girl with the help of guards. When the prince sees it, he realizes they are bad, not good. He left the job, then their plane was flying. Little girl and the prince hold it while running towards it. The prince moves to the plane and little girl releases all the stars. They arrived on their star after that, and there were bad trees. The prince's rose dies due to a lack of moisture. They become upset, but suddenly a sharp light comes. The little prince shrinks once more as a result of it. Little prince says, I can see the rose, then everything was fine on their star. After it, little girl leaves. Then little girl's mother is shown. When little girl wakes up in the morning, she says to her, mother, hurry up. We have to go to the hospital before Worth Academy, she says. While on her way to the hospital, she gives an old man a gift, in which she combined the old man's story with sequence. The old man becomes happy after seeing it. Then they go to old man's house. Little girl and her mother were looking at the stars through the binoculars of old man. This is where the film comes to an end. Thank you for your time.